I'm Penny and this is my channel. So I was originally going to do my Q&A video today, the ones that I've been asking, I've been asking for like questions recently that I could answer in a video because I really like doing stuff like that, but then I started looking around and I realized there was actually a, like a fair bit of news that I wanted to talk about today, so I figured I'd do a news video instead. So the first exciting thing that I saw today was that Heroes of Ruin has a real trailer now. Heroes of Ruin is a game for the 3DS that I've really been looking forward to. It looks like it's going to be really, just a really fun, solid... It's got a lot of online play as well, so it's a really fun, solid online multiplayer game. It's got a really high focus on online multiplayer as well as daily and weekly challenges. Like, really high amount of customization. It just looks so fun. The trailer, it shows it's got, like, microphone uh, talk, so you can even, like, talk and just kind of, like... It's almost like an MMO, but you can also drop out of online, and it just, it seems so fun. And it seems like it'll be a really, really solid addition to the 3DS's library, which right now is so lacking, but it's definitely a game that if you haven't heard of, you should look into. It looks like it's, it's kind of Torchlight and Diablo style, so definitely, in my opinion, something to look into. So I'll post a link to the trailer in the comments so you guys can see, in the uh, description, so you guys can see. Second is that Italia Totori, The Adventurer of Ireland, and Disgaea 4 both have release dates now, but obviously they're American dates, not Australian dates, so we'll get them in like two years. But it's just it was kind of interesting to me, because I didn't actually realize either of them had uh, sequels in the works. I played Disgaea 3 really recently. I didn't get that far into it, because the uh, voice acting and the story just kind of didn't draw me in at all. But the combat itself was really, really fun. So I'm definitely going to be looking into Disgaea 4. And Italia Tatori is the sequel to Italia Verona, the Alchemist of Ireland, which I got for Christmas last year. I asked for it. It looks... Italia Verona was pretty fun. I haven't actually played all the way through it because at one point it froze and it erased like three in-game months of my gameplay and I just didn't want to go back to it yet, but I'm definitely going to get back into it soon because I do want to finish it before I... if I hopefully can get my hands on Italia Tatori, which I can't pronounce any of these, but... It looks pretty fun, and apparently the main character from the first one, Verona, is going to appear in the new one as the Tutorial Girl's teacher or something. I don't know that much about it, but it looks pretty fun, and apparently they're both being released in September this year, so I'm definitely going to be looking into those, and I guess, yeah, you guys might as well. Next on my list of exciting news is that the domain PokemonGrey.com has been registered by a company, Melbourne IT DBS, who... You know, you're, normally you'd just be like, oh, that's some random company, who cares? But they were the company who registered PokemonBlackWhite.com, so it's kind of big news. I don't know if it actually means we'll be getting Pokemon Grey anytime soon, but, you know, it could just be a placeholder, like they're trying to make sure no one else gets it, or it could just be a way, way future game, like a... I don't know, but it seems like it could be pretty cool if we get Pokemon Grey, and the problem with Pokemon games and me is that I'll play for like six weeks straight when they're announced. I'll... and when they're released, sorry. I'll get bored of them. I won't play for like three months, six months. About two weeks before the new game comes out, I'll decide I'm really, really into Pokemon again and I'll buy it and do the same thing over and over. So if Pokemon Grey is released, I'll probably end up playing that for a fairly decent amount of time. I don't know if it'll be a DS or a 3DS remake. A DS remake seems like it'd be kind of not worth it at this point, but a 3DS remake could really utilize the uh, features of the 3DS that the DS doesn't have. So. I think it could actually be a pretty decent um, third third addition to the 5th gen on 3DS. Something else interesting that I saw is that Nintendo has acquired the patent for massively single player online game and I don't really know what this kind of genre will even entail but there's a description of the patent and I'll read it for you now. It's those who want to play games that are more dynamic, not based on AI and not pre-scripted like multiplayer games, however, don't want to deal with other people, appreciate the privacy it provides. So from what I can tell, it's like people who want to play multiplayer and online games without the other people. I'm not really sure what it'll entail, but I guess it could be an interesting thing, and I guess we'll see what Nintendo does with it if they decide to do anything with it. Hopefully they will, because I like seeing when Nintendo does new things, and it could be really interesting, but I don't know, I'm just not really sure exactly what a massively single player online game would even be like. So if you guys have any idea, let me know in the comments because I'm really stumped. <laughs> Next up, if any of you guys don't have Minecraft yet, it's a really good time to get it right now because Notch, the creator of Minecraft, is getting married this weekend and to celebrate he's having a buy one get one free sale on Minecraft. So basically you buy one and you get a code for another copy of the game. So if you don't already have it, it's a really good time to grab it and like maybe split the cost with a friend or just give it to someone else. So you know, just letting you guys know, if you don't have Minecraft already, definitely a great time to get it right now. 
And finally, you might remember me mentioning the EB Games Expo a few times in some of my old videos. I've had my tickets ordered now, so I'm definitely going this October, so I'm really excited. It's happening on the Gold Coast in Australia, so if any of you guys are going to be there, let me know, because I'll have a look. You guys can look for me, I'll look for you, we can meet up, we can chat. But just thought I'd share, the full list of featured games has been announced now, and there's a few that I'm really, really excited about seeing, so I'm not going to go through the whole list, but just thought I'd let you know some of the ones I'm really excited about, like Assassin's Creed Revelations, Halo Anniversary Edition, Saints Row the Third, Mass Effect 3, Skyrim, Arkham City, there's heaps of games as well, like Modern Warfare and Battlefield, so I'll post a link so you can see all the games in the description, but those are the ones that I'm most excited about looking at, hopefully playing, if they're able to be played there, so... I'll let you guys know about them appropriately from the expert. Just wanted to let you know. Anyway, that's all for my super exciting news video today. So hopefully you guys found that exciting and found something interesting. If not, sorry. Let me know in the comments what you found most interesting. If there's anything else you're looking forward to, you know, just chat with me. I like to chat. Uh, keep an eye on my Twitter, Facebook, and blog. The links are all in the description. And I'll have a video up soon. Probably a Q&A video or something else I've been doing. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye.